Premier Brad Wall says parents have been calling his government concerned about having to move their non-Catholic children from their Catholic school. Wall said the ruling could impact funding of 26 other faith-based schools. His concerns about uprooting thousands of students meant that for the first time since 1986, the province will draft legislation to use the notwithstanding clause. The clause allows provinces to create laws that will operate in spite of some charter rights that the laws appear to violate. The legislation, when passed, would overwrite the court ruling for a period of five years. Wall explained his rationale for using the clause. Uh, but it's a part of the Constitution uh, that was put in place for, I would say, moments like this. It is used sparingly. I would say it probably you know, should be used sparingly, but we think it's important to uh, send a signal that we are going to be very firm and very serious about uh, protecting uh, parent, parent choice and uh, ensuring that classrooms as they are can continue in the province. Opposition leader Trent Watherspoon says he supports the current appeal of the court ruling by the Catholic School Boards Association and says he approves of the status quo in Saskatchewan, allowing students to attend school regardless of their religion. But he said he wants to see the government's legislation on the notwithstanding clause before drawing a conclusion. The Premier says it's being worked on by the Ministries of Education and Justice and will likely be introduced and passed in the fall. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.